Hey, what's up? Welcome to our new humble abode, outdoor living. Courtney and I have been together for nine years this week, so we decided to have a little getaway for a couple of days, and this is where we've ended up. We are living in this camper bus. Got our outdoor kitchen. Got our outdoor shower. Bath. Ice bath if we want it. Ice machine. Sauna. Little cedar sauna. Smells amazing. Show you inside the bus. I've stayed in a bus like this before in Stockholm, Sweden. And it's funny because it's almost an identical setup and including the outdoor kitchen and sauna, everything was the same in Sweden. And you're not allowed to bring meat on this premises either because it's like a vegetarian type commune, which was also the exact same thing in Sweden. We weren't allowed to bring meat. So this is it. We've made a bit of a mess. A TV, a little kitchen, fridge, and had a great sleep in there last night. It's a king size bed. One of the other reasons we came away, not just because the anniversary, but Courtney thought it'd be nice because I finally had a little bit of a kind of breakdown this week, a bit of a mental breakdown. The whole situation just got a bit much for me, so I was getting cabin fever on the days, you know, I've been sitting around sick at home. I've been trying to get out and do as much stuff as I can uh, to try and keep sane. But, um, you yeah, know, it all gets a bit much for you when you feel like crap. And I think the biggest thing for me is um, very much an outdoors person. So, you know, any chance I get, I go swimming, fishing, at any opportunity that I get out of my kayak. Just being on the water in general, I'm just obsessed with the water. Today I'm going to run the gauntlet a little bit because we're just down the road from the beach. One of the favourite beaches we usually like to go to and one of the places I kayak fish quite a bit as well. There's a beautiful beach and a creek down the road and you, I've been advised by oncologists and things like that not to swim. Which is difficult for me. It's one of the things that's kind of really been getting to me. We went on a little road trip the other day to a creek as well. And I didn't swim at the advice of the oncologists and things like that because you obviously have risk for infection in your immune system if you pick up something from the water. But I think I'm going to maybe run the gauntlet today and maybe have a bit of a swim in the ocean or the creek because you know, my gut feeling is that's really good for you know calming and soothing the soul and it's something that I love to do and I feel like the water is really a rejuvenating thing. So I might be running the risk of picking up some type of infection, but at the same time, like, I just want to do what my heart wants to do, which is just swim. And if I had the ability, I'd be swimming every morning, every night, cold or hot, winter or summer. Something I've always loved to do. Freezing cold water, the better. So it's going to be pretty hard not to resist the water today. And, yeah, I've read a lot of things back and forward about swimming while you're on chemo. There's a lot of people that say they swim in the ocean every day and they never stopped and there's a lot of people that say you shouldn't do it because of the risk of infection but um, yeah it's going to be pretty hard to resist today it's about 30 degrees it's like bluebird day it's just absolutely beautiful like someone's building a house next door that's what that noise is yeah alright let's do it like the other risk too is the sun like apparently is your ability kind of your skin to resist the UV rays is dulled a bit with the chemotherapy so I've got to try and avoid the sun and hopefully avoid that bacteria in the water hey Ugh. morning happy anniversary Thank you. 
Our spot. Camera never does this place justice at all. This is Telebudgera Creek. Probably because it's an iPhone. Hey, don't diss the iPhone. So we just set up our picnic area and we're gonna risk it for the biscuit. Been ill advised not to swim and I'm gonna swim anyway. I'm gonna go in right there. It's a lot prettier the other side of that bridge, that's Telebudgera Creek, Burley on the left, if you're not from Australia. This is stuff that we have on our doorstep, so you can see why it kills me that I just can't swim in here. So I'm going to go in, and hopefully everything's all good. Ready to go, mate. We just had a quick swim and for some reason the clouds decided to come over and the sun decided to leave so Courtney's now freezing her butt off so we have to go. Baby mama gets what she wants. I don't know mate, I've done a classic Tom move. Just went for a swim and I didn't bring any dry clothes with me. Courtney sorted herself out, you know, grabbed your own clothes, dried, went and shot off to the car. <laughs> you were busy making a video, mate. mate. Oh, this is slime. So usually we would spend a lot longer at the beach, but... Oh, well, my other son's coming out. I can't see my diary, mate. No. If you're not from Australia, like, autumn, winter is, like, the perfect beach weather, boating weather. I mean, summer's good too, obviously, but summer gets so hot that you can't really spend much time in the sun because you get fried. But um, this time of year, autumn, which is, well, you know, Easter time, around April, May, like, the water's still warm, the sun's still warm, but not as hot, but we get nice cool breezes come in um, that make the weather just, like, perfect to spend the day at the beach or on a boat. And obviously the tides aren't as hectic as what they are in summer, there's less storms and stuff. So it's a perfect time of year, but for some reason we just froze our nuts off. <coughs> yes. Now I've got to go find some dry clothes, I guess. 